Uh, my name is Vincent Menge. Priti Singh. Che Manuel Tolentino Ortiz. Claudia Pinilla. A warm welcome from all of us. And we are absolutely delighted to be here in the heart of London. We've talked today about accountability and democracy of transport. It's the very moment where we could meet, meet together, uh, all together, to gather the um, urban public transport militants, activists from all over the world. First of all, extremely pleased to welcome Val Shawcross. You may know that transport workers are very uh, close to home, very dear to heart to Mayor Sadiq Khan, because of course he is the son of a bus driver. This is a critically important time for everybody involved in urban transport. Uh, we've been working with ITF affiliates uh, the last few years, particularly in Nairobi, where Bus Rapid Transit, BRT, is being introduced. Power relations have shifted considerably in favour of employers. Of a main task in a situation like this is to build union strength. The ITC is totally committed to work with the ITF. Workers are struggling to uh, make governments uh, meet their commitments uh, both on labour standards and also environmental requirements. I've been working in Nairobi and a number of African cities on improving public transport. Victoria is the only city in all of Australia that has a fully privatised rail and tram network. The General Secretary of the ITF, Steve Cotton. Very vulnerable leadership environment that has been renowned the world out is the fact that you withdrew the licence for Uber. So thank you to... In this youth forum today in London, I've been able to learn how to use infographics. El taller que nos impartieron hoy es de suma importancia para poder ampliar nuestro conocimiento. Without addressing the terrible labor conditions in the transport sector in these cities, we will make very little progress. Thousands of workers in the informal industry, they could be easily losing many, many jobs with the introduction of BRT. It is our task to secure that this happens in a way that serves the interests of workers as well as the users and society at large. We decided as an executive to actually run a campaign to renationalise the public transport. Civil rights must not be eroded because they're the fundamental base of trade unionism. Being active in union, reducing work workplace issues. So the essential part of the public transport campaign is to enable our affiliates, uh, the ITF affiliates, to be able to be included in the planning of public transit, of public transport in Nairobi. The answer in part is in fact urban transit systems that are for everybody. about transport in London is it's, it's absolutely the beating heart of London. Thank you all for being here and thank you very much. Somos ITF. Nahno al ITF. Sisini ITF.